Hey, what's good, guys? So, gonna do a dual deck profile today. Uh, I ended up going to a TCG player uh, last Saturday. I would have made the video then, but work. Um, but I ended up taking first place with Sylvans. So I'm gonna show you my build. Uh, shout out to my friend Zach. He we made the deck on Friday night for the event. And it was just tearing everything up. I ended up playing against four AMZ. I'll go and run through my I'll run through my uh, matchups after the deck profile. So here's the monsters: three Hermitry, two Sage, two Marshall Leaf, two Princess Sprouts, one Kusharuma, Kush whatever the heck the mushroom. I don't know how to say his name. One Cherub Sprout. And that's all of the Sylvan monsters. And there's two Lone Fire. One Glow Up. Four. One Curry Bandit. We were not sure about the putting in the Curry Bandit, but last second we decided we're going to try it out. Never really was needed, but it won me one game. It helped me with one. Blaster. And then I'm main decking one Effect Veiler. Just to counteract certain decks. I knew there was some going to be some Burning Abyss. I knew there would be Yang Zing. There were going to be Shadol, Shadol Noble Knight. So I was just prepared for the matchups. Spells are 3 Sylvan Charity, 3 Miracle Fertilizer, 1, or 2 Mount Sylvania, my bad, 2 Mystical Space Typhoon, 1 for 1, Book of Moon, Foolish. And then one soul charge. Unfortunately, still have to play it. The deck's just not even close to that, even if there's one. Sylvan's just got first at a Chicago regional, so yeah, this deck's nowhere near done. And then the traps. It was a very slim count, but it was mainly to stop traps. Two breakthrough skill, one emptiness. I would have played two of emptiness if I had another one, but. I'll probably get some when the collection comes out. I don't know. Uh, one Compulse. One Trap Stun. And then the key card in my weekend was two Royal Decree. I, mean, I was maining this all weekend long. And when I played against four Yang Zings, I was just like set, flip Decree, I win. So that's how I won against that. that Here, okay. Then the extra inside. Um, here's the point card. If anyone was curious for more proof, just then we gave the map. Okay, here's the point card. We only had a, it was only first or it was only ten points for first, but that's okay. It's halfway to the next year's championship, so they can't go this year. Uh, extra deck is one formula, one armory arm, one librarian, black rose, one stardust, one stardust spark, one scrap dragon. Star Eater, Mequip, which this is probably going to come out as is maybe the formula. One Draco Sack, Big Eye, Orea, Alcy, Sun Dragon, and Felgrand. And then for the side deck, one Forbidden Graveyard. Two Rivalry, one Divine Wrath, one Thunder King, one DD Crow, two Pulling the Rugs, one Dark Hole, and then the rest of my side deck, the, the last six cards were a side deck strategy, like just to switch my deck around for the slow decks. So in the last six were two Reza, two Caius, and two Stormforth. Now, I kind of wish that either these or these were Vanity Fiends. They would have been so much easier to play with in that tournament. Cause I would have annihilated everything. Because everything was special summoning that day. So that deck, those two would have done it. So I need to give me some fiends. So yeah, there's the deck profile. Uh, Matchups. Since the video is only like going on five minutes, I'll go ahead and explain them. Uh, round one, I played Yang Zing. Uh, we went into time, game three. And I ended up outplaying with uh, Stormforth and the Blaster. Stormforth was like MVP all day. 
Round two, I ended up facing a Yang Zings again. Um, he ended up getting top four as well. Uh, I beat him down easily. Round three, I played against Light Swarm Ruler. Won that barely. Round four, I was going to end up playing against Shadal Noble Knights, but we went ahead and drew the match. We agreed on the draw because we were both 3-0. So there was just no need to play the match. So we ended up going 301, going at the top four. I don't understand why we didn't have top eight, but whatever. Uh, in the top four, I ended up facing Yang Zing. Again, the same one I beat in round two. I uh, ended up decree locking him out of the match. Pretty rough. And then in the finals, it was Yang Zing again. Um, he. My Monarch side just ruined him. There was no reason. There was no way he was getting out of that. I kept razor locking and chaos locking everything. And I just kept knocking his stuff off. And he just, he just scooped. So, yeah, there's the list. Um, if any changes would be made, I will probably change either the chaoses or the raises for Vanity Fiends. I might add another Trap Stun to the main deck. And then I'll probably try to get more emptiness when the uh, tin replaces this Friday. Or not the tin, the legendary collection. When that releases on Friday, I'll probably go get some. I hope I should try to get some emptiness. And then the extra deck, uh, I'm taking out Engineer. I'm going to take out Formula and maybe Librarian. I don't know. Librarian did do some work for some pluses. But I don't know. We'll figure it out. So anyway, that was the deck profile. Uh, if you guys want, I can get the other three that top forward, because it was all at my locals. So, if you guys want the deck profiles, uh, thumbs up this video, and I will get them. I can already get one of the Yang Zings. I can get both Yang Zings. And I can probably get the Shadal Noble Knight deck as well. So, yeah, thumbs up this video, and I will be back with content as soon as possible. Alright, peace.